As you can see, I'm really happy to have my friend John Carlini here again. Good to see you, John. It's great to be back, George. Thanks. I'm George Mariner Mole here with Discovery Chat 27. What makes it jazz? As you may recall, when jazz pianist Dan Creasy was with us back in chat number 13, he played two versions of the opening phrase of Harold Arlen's Somewhere Over the Rainbow. First he used Mr. Arlen's choice of chords under the melody, and then I had Dan change one of those chords just to demonstrate the fact that jazz artists like to invent their own chords to harmonize melodies. Today, with John's help, I want to delve a little deeper into the kinds of chords jazz artists like to use. So, as to create a contrast again, John, would you, would you play for us the same melody you played a moment ago, but this, this time harmonize it with very simple, normal triads? Sure, I'll give it a try. I thank you. Now, now give us again a it's version. It's with, harder to play. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I knew you could do it, but it's, it's hard for you to restrain yourself. All right. So let's have it now with some jazz harmonies again. All right. Same, same uh, tune with jazz okay. harmonies. Now, let's just take one of the chords um, that you use to create a jazz sound. Let's figure out what makes it sound the way it does, contrasting it individually with the more commonplace non-jazz chord. Okay, so let's take one chord, for instance, that you might okay. use, one kind of a chord. Mm -hmm. The first phrase goes, you are my son. And that's a one chord, a C chord. Okay, just a C chord. Again, our triad. Yes, with the third. In with the, the third on the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can, in a in a jazz context, soften that sound by adding the seventh, the major seventh. Okay, to now the we're chord. talking about the seventh pitch above the root. So yes. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. giving this sound. Yes. Okay, when, play that. When for you us. put that into the chord, you get a, as I said, a softer sound. Yeah. And it's a sound that we associate with jazz. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's let's uh, let's do another one of these chords. Okay. Let's okay. let's see if we can come up with yet a, a second jazz okay. chord. Okay. Um, that's a major sixth chord. All right. So six pitches above the root. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. And again, you have to put the E in the lead. Right. Okay. And you the. Major seventh and the sixth are a whole step away from each other, and they have a kind of a seesaw relationship. They can be, you can use them uh, one at a time, and I see. So, so that's great. So you can go from the seven chord to the six chord, one one right after the other. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let let's just pick one other exotic chord. Now I know I've heard that that jazz musicians like to use a chord that employs the pitch that's thirteen steps above the root. You know we've talked about you know the third, the fifth. Uh, we've talked about uh, the 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 seventh. Uh, we've talked about six steps above. How about thirteen steps above? Does that how can you create that somewhere in sure. there? Sure, and it's it, it happens to be the note that we need for the next phrase of the tune. Oh. Okay. Whoa, there and there it is. <laughs> we have our 13th chord. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, well, well we see that um, jazz musicians and composers have their own 
jazz harmonic vocabularies. And this is one of the things that makes jazz sound the way it does, these choices of chords. Now, just as each of us has our own vocabulary when we speak, the words that we choose to construct sentences, composers have their own vocabularies of favorite harmonies or chords. Beethoven had his favorite harmonies. Brahms had his favorite harmonies. We could really go on and on with the list of classical composers. But one of the things that makes jazz sound the way it does is the kinds of chords that are used to harmonize melodies. And we've talked about some of these. Seventh chords, sixth chords, uh, thirteenth chords. Each jazz performer, composer, has his or her own favorite harmonies. And so does John Carlini. So let's listen now to John's harmonic vocabulary as he plays this famous tune, You Are My Sunshine, written by former Louisiana Governor Jimmy Davis and Charles Mitchell. Thanks so much, John. Thank you.